Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Paul here from Midland Marauders and today we are taking a look at Masters of the Universe Battleground Wave 4, The Power of the Evil Horde. Now I picked this up um, a couple of weeks ago. Anyone that has seen the uh, the Hobby Room Tour uh, will have seen this on the Hobby Desk and I am only just getting around to opening it now. So let's open the cellophane and we'll see what's inside with this expansion. Okay, so let's take a look inside the box and see what we've got. So, first of all, we've got uh, our manual, which is the mission book. Nice picture of Hordak there and his little bat gargoyle thing on the front of it. Um, pictures of models inside. Some nice terrain pieces as well. Cards, reference. A uh, really great picture of Shadow Weaver there. Uh, anyone that has got any of these uh, these kits knows that the miniatures that come with them from Archon Studios are really, really, really nice. These are the uh, the Battleground maps. Temple of Valor, the Forgotten Fort, some of the Horde Troopers there. Grizzlor, Advanced Battleground, Horde Wraith, I believe it's called. Uh, we've got our assembly instructions here. So again, we've got Hordak, Catra, Grizzlor, Shadow Weaver. I really hope that they bring us out, uh, bring some more expansions for this that we might get Mudgelock, maybe Leech. They were like some of my favourite Horde characters, and I'd really love to see them in this, or even the uh, the Scorpion one. What's her name? Scorpia, is that it? Uh, so when we've got this. And now we're into the miniatures, and these come uh, sculpted in this really vibrant red plastic. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but this is actually proper horde red. I mean, it is like super red. Uh, Miniature-wise, they're just phenomenal. Uh, really, really lovely sculpted bases to put them on. Really nice. Like The, the attention to detail on these is just fantastic. Uh, I'll just see if we can get it a bit closer to the camera that you'll be able to see them. So we've got Grizzlor there. And this side we've got Hordak there. Shadow Weaver is down here. And then down the bottom we've got our terrain pieces. So we've got the, uh, the trees that it comes with. We've got two of those sprues. And we've got our little deck of items, cards. I'll open this and see what's in it. So we've got bat, harp, horde armband. Sorry, now just the light is. Cat mask for Catra, magic boots, the Eldritch Book of Spells, plate armor, and the cat shield. And then this side then we've got our uh, character cards and also um, the uh, objectives and things like that. Mana cards, spells, energy cannons for the for Hordak. That's Mudgelock's gun. So that does give me hope that we, maybe we will see Mudgelock in the range. The staff, then we've got the characters there. And on the back, you've got some really nice artwork on the back there as well for these uh, for these characters. They just look amazing. We've got uh, two coloured Horde Wraith cards there. Uh, but they're both the same. Even though the artwork is different on the cards, they are both the same. Which is nice, they didn't have to do that. And I'm assuming it's the same with the Horde Trooper. Yeah, so they've they've basically just given us the opposite Trooper there. And there's Hordak himself. So guys, that is uh, everything that you get in uh, Masters of the Universe Battleground uh, Wave 4 Power of the Evil Horde expansion. Listen, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know, are you playing Battlegrounds? Do you enjoy it? Are you a fan of Masters of the Universe? Anyway, guys, listen, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.